My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We got a 1970 Chevelle, it's a real ground pounder. It's got a 454, pushing about 600 horsepower. This thing wants to giddy up and go. Good, clean, rust-free body, painted beautifully. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study 100 pictures, and that's where you find the prices on all of the collector cars we offer for sale. We have about 200 right now. Go to volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, that way you're notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me, let's go for a spin. Yeah, this is a South Carolina car, really clean metal. The underside of the car, the floors, the braces, the inner rockers, all of it's just nice clean metal. They prepped it, they painted it uh, gloss black, so uh, that part of it is really good. Uh, the front end looks like it's been rebuilt. You can see a lot of new bushings and components and parts. Um, you look up at the motor, it's got an anodized oil pan, an extra capacity pan, so you got extra oil in there, helps it run cooler. It's a turbo 350 automatic transmission. It's got Posi in the back. Uh, it's got the F41 suspension, which means it has sway bars front and back and the boxed rear control arms. Uh, gas tank is new. It's a nice shiny gas tank. It's got a custom exhaust from Pipes. It's a stainless steel. Uh, it has the X pipe in the middle. It has the oval stainless tips coming out the back. A real nice exhaust system. You'll hear it later on in this video. So underneath the car is real good. Uh, yeah, it has disc brakes up front as well. I think it has stainless steel braided hoses up there. Uh, so underneath is real good. The body is really nice as well. This thing is laser straight. I mean, I will give it that. There's not a ripple anywhere across the roof, the trunk, lowers. There's, there's no ripples. It is absolutely straight. Uh, the panels fit square and flush. Like up here, it fits real nicely. Gap is a hair bigger on this side than that side, but it lines up real good. It has the SS hood, the domed hood. Uh, painted Sunkiss orange. It's super smooth, even to the touch. It's very slick. Uh, painted on SS stripes. And it looks like all the chrome. Starting up front here, the bumper, the headlight bezels, the grill, the emblem, all that's new. New lenses, new moldings, emblems. All this stainless trim is shiny and straight. It's all new. Door handles. And back here, the bumper with the SS rubber pad, new tail lights, it's all been replaced as well. The windshield is new, the rest of the glass is original, side glass is real good, back glass has some light scratches in it like a lot of them do. Inside the trunk, it's been boxed and upholstered, so it's got four walls built, upholstered, has an orange uh, bow tie. Uh, embroidered carpeted floor and the batteries behind that panel so batteries relocated to the trunk a new weather strip the rally wheels are nice and meaty they're corvette rallies in front which is 15 by 8 all new trim rings and then they're 15 by 10 in back as cooper cobra gt tires all the way around and you can see they're much fatter meatier in back and this engine will light those tires up with no problem New rubber window seals, the door jams are real nice, the weather strips are replaced. The interior has been redone. Now it has some valve covers on it, R-E-H-E-R -E -E Morrison race engines. I went on their website, they build race cars. Uh, I was told they built this engine, I don't have anything to prove it. Um, but it does have the big port heads. It's got a polished Edelbrock intake, a big dual feed demon carburetor, hooker headers, MSD ignition. It's got a billet timing cover in front. It's got aluminum pulleys, new alternator. It runs cool with an aluminum radiator, aluminum water pump, dual electric fans. 
Inside the car is nice. It's buckets with a console. The buckets are all redone. It's got new cushions, so it feels nice and firm. All new upholstery, new door panels, armrests, window cranks, handles. The rear plastic armrests have been replaced. Now there's six by nine speakers back here. Someone probably had a stereo that's no longer in the car because it has kick panels uh, with speakers. The speakers are gone, but the, the grills are there and you can see the wires. So uh, they had a system in here and removed it. The dash pad is excellent. The instrument panel, it's not cracked, not drilled, not broken, but it's original. You get into the little nooks and crannies and corners, you can detail it up a little bit better. It does have a new three-spoke uh, deluxe wheel. Or getting back to the dash, they make such cool instrument clusters now with really cool uh, gauges. That's not that much money. Uh, so the dash is really good the way it is. If I owned it, I'd probably want to put some real cool gauges in there. Uh, getting back to the motor compartment, the inner fenders look like they're painted glossy. Uh, it has a power brake system, power steering. Uh, under the hood is painted gloss orange. The horns are there. So it all looks uh, good and proper in here. Carpets look really nice. Uh, inside the glove box uh, is clean. The center console's in really nice shape. The headliner's real nice. The visors, the mirror looks like it's new. So I'm gonna close it up. We'll back it out. We'll hear how she sounds. And I can tell you, <laughs> I'll be honest with you, Joey, one of my salesmen, he knows fast cars. He's built race cars and that sort of thing. I asked him to go take it for a drive and wanted his honest opinion. Is this uh, a poser or is this a fast car? Uh, he says it's a fast car. Uh, he pulled out and there was a cop behind him, so he had to drive around the block. But when he did get on it, he says this thing will get up and go. Uh, estimated about 600 horsepower. So there you go, that's my impression of this 70 Chevelle. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to contact the salesman. They'll answer your questions the best they can. They can also help with delivery and financing. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. You'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.